We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It's Game 3 of the World Series between the Minnesota Twins and the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And, Dan, lots to talk about here as we get ready for Game 3. You know, I think the phrase must win is overused in sports. But even though this isn't an elimination game, it does sort of feel like a must win. Doesn't matter what sport you're talking about. If you go down 3-0 in any series, you're fighting nearly an impossible uphill battle. Feels like the series kind of rides on this game right here. The buildup to this one is just about over. It's time for all the drama of World Series baseball on the show. And we'll have it for you next. David Price will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Boy, this guy was really good in his last one. How about he picked up career win number 150? That's not an easy thing to do. He'd like nothing more than have a good one today and get number 151 in the books. Hey, let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense. And let's focus on Corey Seager. Cal Ripken Jr., anyone? This guy looks like the spitting image of Iron Man. I think he's just scratching the surface of a Hall of Fame career. Multiple MVPs, gold gloves, you name it. Corey Seager is on fire. Stepping into the box, Jorge Polanco. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. Heading out towards shallow right on the move is Betts. He's there and records the first down. Batting second, the third baseman, number 24, Josh Donaldson. Josh Donaldson digging in now. Lifetime versus David Price. He's got five base hits in 22 tries. He's also gone down on strikes five times. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. to the plate now Nelson Cruz all over that one but a little out in front foul ball he's going to eliminate that pitch right there he was all over that just wasn't able to keep it fair but he's not going to see that pitch again and we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses and it's a two out walk and I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up or he can really hurt you. So here's the cleanup hitter, Eddie Rosario. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Cruz is off of first with two away. swing and a little soft liner to the left side but this will be a foul ball the one two That's a ball. pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there if I'm pitching I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed
And I'm off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Twins wind up stranding one. The Dodgers coming up, and we are scoreless. Jake Odorizzi gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? If you want to pick up a win as a starting pitcher, you have to go five innings to get the win, and that's just what he did the last one. I'm sure he'd like to be out there for a little bit longer in this one. Okay, here's how the Twins are lining up defensively. And folks, today I'm locking in on outfielder Max Kepler. I think he's just starting to scratch the surface. Bit off a couple of years trying to learn his craft a little bit. The bat's coming along. The defense has always been there. Super accurate arm. Real sure-handed in the outfield. Two pitch. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are created equal. Right there, he goes down on strikes, but he really made that guy in the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning, it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. At the plate now, Corey Seager. Two balls and a strike to count. Time to check our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Freddie Ferguson. Hey, d -Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, it makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. A ball that's carrying on the warning track, he makes the catch. That is good. The first baseman, Matt Muncy. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up the big bat of Max Muncy. The one-two. Pulled toward right center field. Buxton is underneath this one as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Dodgers are turned away their first time around. On to the second now from Los Angeles. No score here on the show. Now at the plate, Eire Adrianza, as it'll be 5, 6, and 7 due up to kick off the second inning. The 1-2. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he the wasn't expecting it at all. 22, Miguel Benel. Standing in now, Miguel Sano. A two ball, one strike count to the Twins' first baseman. Ball three. Here's Price on three and one. Three and Swing and a miss, and the count goes full three and two. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Well, this guy's been prone to giving up walks and bunches, and that's already two walks here in the early going. 
We'll see if this continues to be an issue for him as this start continues. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Buxton ahead in the count, three balls and a strike. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's up to a three two full count now. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And with two away, let's give you one more look at the pads these two teams took to get to this game three of the World Series. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Here's the one and one pitch. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Here's the three one. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Garver. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning couple of walks but no damage back with more from game three after this. Now the one and one pitch. I got two one to count. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Fouled off. The 3-2 one more time. 
And he takes nope. ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Now to the plate is the Dodgers' designated hitter, A.J. Pollock. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. The one two. And it's fouled away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Okay, here's how the Twins are lining up defensively. I want to focus on the bringer of rain, Josh Donaldson, playing third base, not only from the offensive side as he evolutionizing the game with his new swing path, he'll also dive into the stands defensively to save a run for his pitcher. Into the box now, Jock Peterson. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. Bottom of the second here with no score. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. To second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. We'll have more of game three after this message. Riding into the box, Jorge Polanco flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Here's the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Both teams so far yet to crack the hit column. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. We got three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Now a ball hit hard toward first. It's in there, and the Twins look to have an extra base hit on their first hit of the game. And he'll reach second now with one away. When it left his bat, I thought it might curve foul, but he manages to squeak it just inside the right field line for a well-hit line drive double. By the time the right fielder tracked it down, he was easily into second. In now, Nelson Cruz. 
Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The good news for pitchers in this park is that it doesn't give up many home runs. A lot of room in the outfield. Sometimes that's the bad news as well, though, because there's a lot of space for hits to get down and to go for extra bases just like that. At the plate, Eddie was sorry. This is flared out towards second, and this is taken for the out. Now back, the second baseman, A. Ray Adrianza. So two on with two away, and A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. Third inning, no score to this point. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Two and one. Here it is. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes Bellinger. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. As he arrives at second without a play as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splinter, but instead he muscled the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. To the plate now, Miguel Sano. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. From the belt, the pitch. And this is swung on and missed. Might have even been a foul tip that's held on to, but either way, the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Minnesota leads this one two to nothing. Bottom of the third now, and next to hit is the catcher, Will Smith. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Down low, two balls and a strike. And he misses again, ball three. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. That's a hit. The first in this game for the Dodgers. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in. Kept his hands inside the baseball and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That would right up the middle. At the plate now, Gavin Lux. Way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Nobody out, runner on first. And he fouls this one off. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there. Pretty good pitch, but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner. That's tough to do for most guys. A bouncer up the middle. Scooped up. The second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. 
So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. Next up for Los Angeles, Mookie Betts. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Oh, and he dialed that one down and got him to swing through it. It's 1 and 2 now. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Trying to send him packing for the second time. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Here's Corey Seager. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Liner towards second, but right there is the second baseman, and that will retire the side. One left for LA. They trail it here, two to nothing. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Twins to discuss his thoughts on Minnesota's lineup so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Digging in to try it again. Byron Buxton looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And as you see there, just one mile an hour separating these two arms so far. 96 on one hand, 95 on the other. So the base is empty here with one away. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Going back is Bellinger. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Digging in, Mitch Garver. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Hit sharply on the ground, and that's through for a hit. Kind of looked like he had gotten his bearings there. Dan was going to have a 1-2-3 inning, but not the case, giving up that late two-out knock. Oh, this lineup is so deep, one through nine, they can put a hurting on you, and they're making him work, and he's given up a lot of base hits so far in this one. So far, this has not been an easy one for this pitcher. Into the box, Jorge Polanco. Counts even, two and two for Polanco. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Here now the 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And that's off his leg on the mound. Fortunately, he's able to stick with it and get the out at first. And that'll put an end to the inning. 
One hit, one left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. It's the Twins two and the Dodgers nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Max Muncy. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Mm, and a good pitch there as they come after him, and the count goes full. Misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. At the plate, Cody Bellinger. The one two. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Full count to Bellinger, three balls, two strikes. That was another good pitch and a tough call that could have gone either way. He couldn't get him to bite on it again, so the count's gone from 0-2 to 3-2. Payoff pitch home. And he lays off there, ball four. So back to back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Well, they've struggled offensively in this one so far, but after that walk, they've got runners at first and second and look ready to make a little noise. Just need a big hit now. Now batting, A.J. Pollock. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. No runs, just one hit. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Well, that's two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Pollock in front, three balls and a strike. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Hit out towards second. Reined in. There's one. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Well, he definitely rushed himself on that return throw to first there, and he threw it away. They got to force at second, and the runner didn't advance, so it'll just be scored a fielder's choice. Stepping up now, Jock Peterson. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And a curveball's by him that time as he falls behind now, one and two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Up next to the Dodgers. 
So it's first and third with two away. And digging in at the play will be Justin Turner. Odorizzi comes set. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Now the 2-1 pitch. Even count two balls and two strikes. Tried to get him with the cutter, but it's a full count, three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Runners at the corners, two men out. And he popped him up. Adrianza is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Dodgers strand a couple. They're still down. It's 2-0. top of the fifth and that brings up the former American League MVP Josh Donaldson never tempted to swing at that ball down low it's ball three following next is Nelson Cruz he waits on deck Ground ball foul down the left side. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a solo shot off the bat of Josh Donaldson. His first homer so far in the series as the Twins have made it a three to nothing ball game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. So now to the plate, Nelson Cruz. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now batting, left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Up next for Minnesota, Eddie Rosario. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Peterson giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now second baseman, A. Ray Adrianco. So two are gone in the Twins' half of the fifth. And A. Ray Adrianza will be the next to bat. Here's the one and one pitch. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. Grounder down the line at third. Turner has it. 
And the off balance throw is right there for the third out and a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. But the Twins add on thanks to this solo shot. Bottom of the fifth coming up. It's now 3-0 in favor of the Twins. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it feels like every at-bat has been an incredible battle, full count after full count. And he said eventually that absolutely wears the pitchers out on the other side, which should result in more offense for them as the game progresses. All right. Thanks, Heidi. Three one, and that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Yeah, and as a starter, the last thing you want to do is let a team answer when your guys just scored a run for you. So he's thinking ground ball right here to try to get a double play and end this threat. Into the box now, Gavin Lux comes into this at bat 0 for one in the ball game. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Outside, that's the ball. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Two-run shot to straightaway center. His second home run of the series. And the Dodgers are back within a run at 3-2 to two now. Well, they were a lot more comfortable up three than they are now, only up by one. That just goes to show you one pitch, one two-run shot, and the entire complexion of the game can change just like that. Now here comes the Twins manager on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So the line score will show he departs after just four innings of work, and you know they wanted more out of him than this, as he won't even stand to be the winning pitcher here. Fernando Romero, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Standing in now, Mookie Betts. Heading out towards shallow right. In comes Kepler, but he can't get there. That's down for a base hit. The throw into second, and he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. At the plate, Corey Seager. And it's one and two. His heater's got some late ride through the zone. A lot of late swings right now. You're only going to get to that pitch if you get the front foot down early. One and two. Here it comes. Lifted in the air to center. Buxton is right there. One down. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. Now batting. The first baseman, Max Muncy. So stepping in, Max Muncy, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. The 
1 1. Hard hit to first. And the sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His yeah, eyes lit up right there. Field. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Well and good. Into the box now, Cody Bellinger. A ball and two strikes. Hey, if this guy's able to execute that two seamer down and away consistently, he's going to get a lot of swing and misses. He's going to get a lot of weak contact. He might even get a few knots on some people's shins. Working for the punch out and the offering. And it's belted high and deep into right center. Buxton is back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Now back, the designated hitter, A.J. Harlow. So a runner at first with two away. And up next, the center fielder, A.J. Pollock. <laughs> He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. In the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And that'll hurt as the runner will move into scoring position now. Well, the graphic here isn't going to properly show just how far that pitch was from the strike zone. That thing wasn't even close, and I think it made the decision to move up a base pretty easy to make. Fouled off. A 2-2 pitch. Line drive to center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We're through five innings here tonight. We're tied now with three apiece. Alex Wood takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now picking for the Dodgers. Number 57, Alex. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next will be the imposing power bat, Miguel Sano. The one two. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the Twins put their leadoff hitter on to get the inning started. Dan, right here you see a situation where the no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, D-Row. You're so concerned about on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. To the plate now, Byron Buxton. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Runner aboard at first with nobody out in a 3-3 tie. Runner! And there he goes toward second. Pitch swung on and missed the throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. That very well could have been a hit run play, but that pitch was so far out of the zone, it really made it hard for the hitter to make any contact. Kind of left his teammate hung out the drive. Hit out towards second. Scooped up. And that's the second out. Now batting, the right fielder, Matt Kepler. Settling in now, Max Kepler. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. 
And now Kepler belts one, carrying well out to right field. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One more look at the final out. A teeth rattler if ever there was one. Back with more from game three after this. Here's Jock Peterson now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Here's the one and one delivery. One and two. One ball. And hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. Some movement now in the Minnesota bullpen as a right hander's up and throwing. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Boy, there's nothing like seeing a good power pitcher that has a good fastball. And what does he do? He just throws this good fastball right by, brings the express. No chance to put that ball in play. Into the box, Justin Turner. And this is popped up. Back behind second. Adrianza backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Now batting. Yep, yep, yep. Well. In now, Will Smith. Bases are empty here with two men out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Rosario is there. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So after the three spot last time around, he's able to bounce back and hang a zero here. On to the seventh now in game three, and we are all tied at three apiece. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mitch Garver, one for two in the ballgame thus far. ball sent back up the middle gets dirty and gloves it he's out well executed to seamer on the outside corner that time and, and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch he rolled right over it and now back to the leadoff spot in the twins lineup stepping in Jorge Polanco he struggled at the top of the lineup in this one hitless to this point the 2 2. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. Throw gets him, two down. The third baseman, number 24, Josh Donaldson. Now in the box, Josh Donaldson. He's two for three with a home run and a double. Two out, nobody on. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. He's got it. Throw on to Muncy, gets him, and with that, they'll end the inning. Down go the Twins in order. Still tied, three to three. Number 72 is ready, and he'll take the ball from the manager. Number 72. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Gavin Lux. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. Now here's the pitch. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. 
Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. So now to the plate, Mookie Betts grounded to third. Donaldson's there. And there's out number two. Now batting, shortstop, Corey Seager. Here's Corey Seager, who could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Bases are empty here with two men out. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. And it's fouled away. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so... He can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Pulled toward right center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Dodgers down in order. Score remains tied at 3-3. Three to three. Here's Nelson Cruz now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Change up gets him out in front for strike two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Get hard back up the middle. He's right there on the first, and that's an important first out to start the eighth here. The left fielder, number 20, Eddie Rotorio. Ready for another shot now. Eddie Rosario. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. A ball and two strikes now. One out, nobody on. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. Two balls, two strikes. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. And that's into the outfield for a one out hit. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking, too, right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. At the plate now, Eire Adrianza. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's 2-1. Waits. Now the pitch. Strike two called, and it's even at two. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. Sent in the air out to straightaway center. Bellinger's under it. Two gone. The first baseman, number 22, Miguel. Here's Miguel Sano. 
It's his job to get something into the outfield and give that go ahead run a chance to score from second. And it looks like they'd rather go after the next guy as the intentional walk signal comes here with two away. Now that. So that'll bring in Byron Buxton. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. One and one. Here it is. to even the count two and two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. Well, no doubt in my mind, this has been the at-bat of the night so far. to third. Turner's got it and he is in there at third as the possible go-ahead score on the first and the Twins are turned away here as the side is retired. Twin strand of pair. No change in the score. It's three to three. Tyler Clipper is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 36, Tyler Clipper. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And stepping in the long ball threat, Max Muncy. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Kind of focus on getting that ground ball now. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. And the pitch on two and one. To two and two now. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. He stays alive, still two and two. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Pitch home. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. That strikeout was a real good example of a pitcher continuing to make a guy chase out of the zone. When you recognize a hitter is in protect mode, you don't have to come inside the strike zone. You can just expand further and further until he literally can't touch it. Stepping in now, A.J. Pollock. One ball and two strikes to count. Job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. A 
again a one two high in the air down the right field line but this will wind up being a foul ball. The one two and a wild pitch here as this one's to the backstop. Very big mistake as that'll move the possible go-ahead run into scoring position. Well, the intent there with that two-strike pitch was obviously to get him to fish for something he couldn't do a whole lot with, but there's the risk that comes with that as well. If you don't execute or your catcher can't handle it very well, you give up three bases. Hit sharply on the ground with the left. And that'll get past his outstretched glove. It's a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, so that'll hold that go-ahead run at third now with still only one away. That was actually a well-executed fastball in to in off the plate. Credit the offensive player. He smelled that coming. Turned and burned. In now, Jock Peterson. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. The one two is taken for ball two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Here now the two two. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. These are the kind of A-Bs, regardless of the outcome, you go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. To second for one. On to first. Not in time, as the umpire was right there to make the call. Well, they really did have a shot at turning two on the high chopper. They only get one, and that allows the runner from third to score. Tyler Duffy enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Number 21, Tyler Duffy. Justin Turner will be the first to greet him here as he stands in with a runner at first and two away. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. So a run on one hit, no errors, and a man left. On to the ninth now in game three. It's the Dodgers four and the Twins three. Kenley Jansen comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. Late Max Kepler will lead things off here in the ninth with his guys in danger of falling into a very difficult to escape 3 0 deficit. A 1 1 pitch. toward the alley in left center and that will be a base hit so they couldn't ask for more as the possible time runs aboard to kick off the night the leadoff hitter finds his way on base should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager does he use the bunt right here do we put a little hit and run on do we go old school new school and just let him swing away should be interesting to the plate now Mitch Garver and he fouls this one off 
one run game here in the top of the ninth. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. And that's into the corner of foul ball and right. The two two. strike out there guys tying run at first so objective number one is straining him on base and now with one out it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run standing in now Jorge Polanco and a cut fastball but this bounces near the plate for a ball Josh Donaldson is on deck. The 3 1. It was swung on and missed. A full count now. Fouled away. for the punch out and the offering. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. That's a big strikeout there with the tying run over at first base. And now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Final strike for the Twins. Fouled off. Sold out crowd, 56,000 strong at the start, all up in L.A. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Hey, we were really treated to a good one today. Bottom of the eighth proved to be the difference, though. And a good job here in the ninth to close the book on this one. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. Sometimes that defining moment of the game is the ending. He came in and he raised any hope the opposition may have had. And for that, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, it's awfully comforting to have a guy like this you can call on to shut the door for you. He went out there and put the hammer down. And sometimes that's easier said than done.
and it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Los Angeles Dodgers take a commanding 3-0 lead in this World Series. Alex Wood takes home the win. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score tonight. First quarter victory.